How's everybody doing? My name is Betchman, and welcome back again to more Pokemon BGC stuff. Thanks, shenanigans. We are back with more BGC content, and I'm super excited for this season. I've already been playing a little bit, as you can see, because I really couldn't wait. I just wanted to start playing BGC. Um, I'm so excited to see all these new teams that we're going to be facing, all the new teams we're going to be using that we will create. I have so many different ideas that I want to try out. Uh, legendaries are here. There's just... There's too much at this point uh, that you can even create with everything that's out. So the ones that were banned are no longer banned. There's just way too many things at this point, like I just said. So uh, we're not going to show that. We got a brand new team, per usual, especially since it's a brand new season. Uh, we went down a little bit. Eh, it's fine. So this is the team we're going to be using right here. It, I've called it Soak uh, for a reason. Because Regieleki is very busted. Uh, I have Inteleon paired with him with the Choice Scarf. The whole idea with their combo uh, is to Dynamax, Dynamax Regieleki. You soak with Inteleon on whatever I want to use soak on. Turn them into a water type and pretty much one-shot them. Regieleki is insanely powerful. Uh, do not... Doubt it whatsoever, especially with the Life Orb on it. We also have Moltres with the Weakness Policy, Incineroar with Figgy Berry, uh, Glastryer with Assault Vest, and Dusclops, who can help set up the Trick Room to make Glastryer just these this crazy powerhouse. So we have a Tapu Fini, uh, Landorus, Regilecki, um, Metagross, uh, totally forget your name, and Normal Zapdos. So, uh, I still think we're pretty safe to go up Regieleki and Inteleon. I think... I could set up the Trick Room. I don't know if I want to. Moltres will be pretty good here. And probably Incineroar, or do I want to go Gastrire? I'd probably go Incineroar. Uh, yeah, we'll go Incineroar. <laughs> We'll go Incineroar because he doesn't have anybody who has Defiance. Hopefully, he also doesn't have anybody who can go for Tailwind. I think, well, technically Zapdos could. I think Landris could, but I don't think that's what he's going to go for. Um, Tapu Fini is a pretty good Pokemon to use right now. It's very bulky, sets the terrain. Um, the reason I don't have... The other duo that you can run with Regieleki if you want to have an offensive Regieleki is uh, Tapu Koko. Um, he sets the electric terrain, and Reggie like he just ends up doing an insane amount of damage, so. He's got his Reggie Lucky, I got mine. I'm gonna go for taking out his Metagross, and we're gonna go for Soak into his Metagross. I don't think, I want to say his Reggie Lucky is gonna be a supportive one, so it might go for Light Screen. If it does, I think think I still one-shot Metagross. So if you don't know as well with Regieleki and what makes him very busted, it's his ability. His ability is, I think it's called Transistor, um, something like that. It basically does 50% extra damage for electric-based moves. Now, if you think about that with Electric being his only typing, electric moves are stab, and he does 50% increase in damage. He's pretty much one-shotting everything. And we outspeed his Regieleki. We could have taken his out, but that's okay. We'll take out his Metagross. Uh, Metagross is like a huge thing that we don't want to go against. And when we Dynamax, we set the electric terrain. Now we have our attacks boosted even more because of electric terrain. We are one-shotting quite literally everything. It's going to go for Volt Switch. Does actually a pretty decent amount of damage. I guess he thought I wasn't going to go for the Soak move, and that's the thing. Not many people realize or know about this combo. Cresselia. And he might even send in his Regieleki. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. He sends his Regieleki. I'm going to go for taking his Regieleki out, though. The reason we put Choice Scarf on Inteleon is so that we can outspeed 
Reggie Alecki. Um, another thing with Reggie Alecki is his speed is insane. I'm pretty sure he's gonna he is the fastest Pokemon in the game. Uh, goes for Ally Switch. Well played, sir. Still go for Soak and Cresselia. So, I mean, Cresselia will be gone. Issue is that his Regieleki is still on the field. He goes for Electro Web. So, now he is most definitely faster than my Regieleki. But his Cresselia is gone. Gone, gone. I do think it is a supportive one. I'm not sure. You can run a Regieleki a couple different ways. Um, some people even run choice specs on him. It is a pretty insane amount of damage. Uh, I'm going to go forward and Cineroar here because I get Fake Out. And I most definitely can one-shot. Yeah, he's going to protect Finny, and I'm going to take out his Regieleki. I go for Misty Surge. Or a the ability uh, we get intimidate off we should be able just to go for a fake out into Reggie Alecki and one shot it so I'm almost positive he's gonna protect Finny he knows I would go for Finny most people would think that anyway um, but I really need Reggie Alecki gone and he has his Dynamax that I forgot about, in all honesty. So his Finny's going to come out. Oh! It's actually his Reggie Lucky. That could be really bad. I actually think I lose this. Because of that, I think that ally switch was huge for him. He did protect with Finny, so I did predict that right, but... Uh, I go for fake out, it does hardly anything. He should be taking out mine. He actually leaves mine on the field. Dude, I might even I might still one shot here. Because Regieleki's defense in general is pretty booty. I think he just goofed himself. Come on! Yep, he goofed. I don't know if the crit mattered, but we'll take it. We take those. Um, that's why I really enjoy using this team, though. I've really had a lot of fun running this one. We'll get the dub in the first one. Easy peasy. Most games I'm actually able just to go with running Regieleki uh, and Inteleon up front without even switching anything. Um... Very few that I actually have to switch. Sometimes if it's, if it's a uh, Trick Room team, I gotta run Dusclops and maybe Glastri Glastrier. Glastrier, however you pronounce his name. But we get the dub. Main reason, too, that I have what I have behind Reggie Lecky and Italian. I have, in so with Incineroar, Mol Moltres, Dusclops, and Glastrier, the reason I have those four, they're, Moltres is a really good bulky strong pokemon with its ability being berserk uh and having weakness policy on it it can easily be a pokemon that sweeps especially if you dynamax it um it, i also brought the uh dusclops and the glass dryer because i can set trick room with them i can use that to incineroar's advantage as well he can really take um good advantage of the trick room and be stronger that way and Moltres isn't too fast so it could have some benefits to the Trick Room. So for the most part, I have my team set up where I can either, you know, I can run Trick Room. I can run with my Reggie Alecki and Italian up front. Um, I might even have a couple other options that I can go with too. Because Dynamaxing Glass Dryer is really crazy because of how bulky he is in his ability. So we got options. We're going against Klo, who's got Sylveon... Uh, Galeri and Articuno. First time we'll be facing that, actually. Probably a Gigantamax Lapras, a Gudra, uh, Obstagoon, and uh, it's one of the Tapus. Tapu Lele, I think. Um, could be a Trick Room team. I'm not really sure. What? We'll go Regieleki. 
The only thing that scares me is Gudra. I know Gudra's special defense is pretty insane, so I don't think I would be able to one-shot it. But I want to try. I really want to try. After that... Moltres counters Articuno pretty hard. Moltres actually counters a lot here. So does Incineroar. The only thing I'm scared of is the Sylveon. But I want to say we'd be fine. I'm indecisive between Incineroar or uh, Glastrier. I kind of want to go for him because he'll do more damage. Even though he's slow, we're going to take him. He'll do more damage. He's going to help us out quite a bit. So let's see if we can uh, pick up two wins in a row with our uh, team that we created. I did get this. I think there was somebody else who had something really close to this that I got my inspiration for this team with. Um, and I made my, my adjustments to it of how I saw fit. So we got Obstagoon and we got Lapras. Uh, we're going to knock out Lapras real quick like here. Take Lapras out and I guess I'll use Soak on Obstagoon just uh, to preset that. Um, the reason I don't have, like, Thunderbolt or Thunder, uh, and I have Volt Switch and uh, ri Rising Voltage, yeah. The reason I have Rising Voltage is because if you have that move with Electric Terrain set, it, like, doubles it. I'm pretty sure it ends up clocking to, like, 183 damage or something. Something insane. We'll see if he uh, shows the Gigantamax. And he does. Yeah, it's Lapras, so pretty certain we can knock out Lapras here. It is a bulky Pokemon, but I feel pretty confident that we can knock him out. I didn't want to knock out Obstagoon just because I don't want to leave Lapras up too long. Plus, he uses Obstruct. That's fine. So, uh, Soak just won't go through, so I'm glad that actually it does go through. Interesting. I apparently don't know how Obstruct works. And one shot. This is why Regieleki is absolutely busted. I. That's just not okay. Not okay in the slightest. I know I have Life Orb on. I don't even have Electric Terrain up. That just goes to show you that you don't need to do the Tapu Koko start. Or you don't have to pair him with Tapu Koko. It definitely helps to get the added damage early. And so you don't have to Dynamax Regieleki right away. But uh, that's some big, big damage. Really big damage, actually. He's going to change the terrain again. Uh, who does he have in the back? He doesn't have a ground type, does he? He does not. So uh, we're going to take Obstagoon out. And I'll use Soak on Lele. I mean, quite honestly, I was kind of thinking these battles would be quick because my whole win con is straight behind Regieleki. Um, that's the one downside of this team is that if they figure out what I'm doing immediately, it kind of loses me the entire game. Even though I do have good support mons in the back, it makes it really difficult to be able to come back. It's not impossible, but it does make it difficult to come back, especially if using my Dynamax very first turn. Uh, if I don't have to use it first turn, that's ideal, but it's, there's very, you know, low scenarios where I actually have to use it, but we knock out Obstagoon because this Pokemon is absolutely insane. Between Regieleki and, uh, Regidrago, I think is its name. Uh, Regieleki, I definitely think was the better of the two. Regidrago's good, has a good ability where it, uh, you know, does a 50% boost to uh, uh, dragon type moves, but Reggie Lecky with how fast it is, how much damage it does, it's just insane. Look at this little jump. He's so light-footed. He's just leaving Inteleon up. 
And boom. Ah, it's just so broken. Very broken. I do have a rental code for this team too for you guys to try out. Um, I'll show that at the end here. Yeah, Lele, unfortunately, is just not doing enough damage, man. Not enough damage. And uh, just for giggles, we'll switch Inteleon out. We'll go Rising Voltage, which will one-shot, and we'll switch to Moltres, because why not? Why not? Show a different Mon. But I don't even get to show a different Mon because he's going to forfeit, so two wins in a row. This team is just insane. I absolutely love using this team. Um, obviously, it's not perfect because you saw that I have lost, uh, I think I've lost three games using this team. Um, it gets a little bit trickier when you're going against a team that has a ground type like Landorus, Garchomp. Um, it gets tricky because you don't know if they're going to send them out. If they do send them out and you go into that slot without using Soak, like this team, for example, they have Landorus. It gets tricky. Also, this guy has Raichu. That makes it even more tricky to be able to set this up. So, at this point, I really need to set up the Trick Room. But that does benefit his Torkoal pretty hard. They want to go Incineroar with Dusclops, have Reggie Lucky in the back, and then have Glastryer, who can pretty much take out everything there. The only question mark would be Charizard. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if we get lucky. I think Dusclops lives... Um, G Max Wildfire from Charizard, if that's the way he went. But this is one of the options here, or one of the scenarios where I can't really go with the start that I want because of that Raichu. Uh, Raichu definitely makes it 10 times more difficult with having Lightning Rod for me to do what I want to do. He actually goes Urshifu and Tornadus. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for Fake Out into Urshifu and set up this Trick Room pretty easy. Oh, he actually could go for, uh, I think he's going to go for Taunt. That's where things get tree. I'm going to go for, for tor uh, Tornadus, Tornadus, and try to get this Trick Room off. I kind of doubt I'm going to get it. He actually Dynamaxes, I think he Dynamaxed Urshifu. Did he not? He, ah, he read me so hard. I did not expect him to Dynamax him, so that's pretty interesting. He's going to most definitely one-shot me with something. Should have hit Urshifu because Dusclops is going bye-bye. Max Airstream to increase her speed. Yeah, Dusclops is going bye-bye. Going bye-bye. Wicked Blow, yep. Ah, that sucks. So no Trick Room. Can we turn this around, though? I'm not going to send Reggie Lucky out. I know I could, but I'm not going to yet. So he's a very thick horse. Very, very bulky, which is what we like. Uh... You just go for a Flare Blitz straight into Urshifu. I think I have to double in Urshifu. Because I don't really think Torna uh, Tornadus has really anything to do a whole lot of damage to me. So I'm just going to double into Urshifu. Oh boy, he read me. Torkoal. I mean, maybe I knock it out. Does that mean he's got Charizard in the back? And, I mean, I should be faster than Torkoal. <laughs> I'm like 100% sure I should be faster.
Oh, big horse. So at least we got something different for the last battle. We're not going to see Reggie Alecki again. Well, getting done, Max, at least. Okay, good. Max guard. So we doubled into Torkoal, so maybe we knocked it out. We do get the boost from the sun. Little... We're close to half. And how much is a max knuckle going to do? Probably not enough. Yeah, I kind of doubt... I doubted it would be enough, but you never know. I don't know if I if a Flare Blitz will take him out or not. It's worth a shot, though. It's worth a shot, and I can take out Tornadus. Tornadus. However you pronounce his name. So I already boosted my attack. He's going to take Torkoal out. And going to Charizard. Okay. He did have Charizard. Max Airstream into... Yeah, it's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Oh, boy. I mean, Flare Blitz will do a lot to Charizard. He's not bulky. Oh, my word. We almost one-shot him. So close. If I would have doubled into him. Because we got that uh, attack increase from Max Knuckle. So, ooh. Do we... Does he take hail damage here? I think he does. I think we still knocked him out. If we knocked him out, I think we won. I think we won if we knocked him out here. Buffeted by hail. Oh my gosh, okay. Whoo, the amount of luck we just had on that. That was actually huge. So, Hale's gonna go away because he's gonna bring Torkoal out. That's fine. He's gonna bring Urshifu out. Also fine. We are a very big horse. A very big horse. And I'm pretty sure we're going to win this, actually. And this is what I mean by my support mods that I had in the back in case things do not go the way I need them to go. This is what happens. Uh, Max Knuckle into Urshifu. I think this gets us the win because we're faster. Especially the attack increase. Oh, we hang on. Alright, we won. We'll take out uh, Torkoal here with Flare Blitz, because we got our attack increased. Blam. Wow, that was huge. The horse ends up pulling it off for us. Glassdraw is a really, really strong po uh, Pokemon. Not something you could, uh, or you should, underestimate, because he's super bulky. His ability is insane with knocking out a Pokemon. It's kind of like Beast Boost. Um... But it only, it works if he knocks out the Pokemon, not if it faints in general. Only if he knocks out the Pokemon, he gets that increase in uh, uh, attack. So, we actually win all three. I'm pretty sure that's going to put us into Master Ball tier to start off. And we're sitting at eight and three. Uh, I'm liking where we're at right now. I might use this team again this week. Uh, let's see where we're at. I think that put us to Master Ball. Blam! 54 63. Not bad at all. I will. I'll most definitely take that, but I'm loving using this team. Um, let me show you guys the rental code so you guys can try it out for yourselves if you so desire. Uh, teams to share. That's where we want to go. And here is the team. Uh, ignore the fact that I have Protect on Inteleon and I'm running Choice Scarf. It's just there. I could switch it out. I just didn't, just because most of the time I'm using Soak anyway. Um, definitely give this team a shot. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys think I could improve upon, maybe switch out, change the team a little bit. Um, I Obviously, it worked out really well for me. I'm enjoying using the team, but uh, I do think it can use a couple little tweaks here and there, maybe subbing Dusclops out for somebody else. Um, I've messed with maybe switching Moltres out for Galarian Zapdos, but there's a lot of options to go with. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I'm glad to be back with VGC again, even though I did enjoy making the Crown Tundra videos for the DLC. It's a nice little break from doing VGC, so 
once again hope you guys enjoyed watching the video hope you guys check out the team and give it a try i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye